Um, a hearly a corley conde, a uh, last can corley pat the cope, a hakti dala, a privamini, kolaki haugs, in a special ta. Tan ahas or um falcha war creel, a hord of Golair, Hag Airfoot International Tagun the Nal, and Terfort Asaya or Don, Con Chunsknu Kangal Gunanal Hyalu, Chunsknu of Astor Shul and Achna Egusalar for their Gundi Evening, other than Shakta La, Espiha Manfor, August and Sheo La, Jerafor, Nablina Shah. As the I am and Togra Shah, the Chowla Yanu, the Muncher in the Nal or Fad. August law shooter will grab a scan oku or an gunte. August a law a huncher as a yanu lenarish, three narishi lahan gnivakti, August a meakti, a korame genuil div, or bals a kora lahar. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here to Donegal International Airport today, the most scenic airport in the world, for the launch of the Donegal Connect Initiative. <laughs> This initiative has taken place across our wonderful county between the 27th of September and the 6th of October this year, and it aims to reach out to all Donegal people and all of those people who love and have an affinity for our county to connect back later this year across the range of activities and events that we will be outlining to you later in this presentation. This 10-day event aims to continue to strengthen the existing links with our fellow Donegal people, both on the island of Ireland and across the world by reaching out to them, inviting them to come home, and asking them to connect again in one of the range of areas that make up this event. It represents a very important part of our ongoing Donegal Diaspora project that has, at its heart, the objective of reaching out to all people of a Donegal background, to stay in contact with them at whatever level they are comfortable with, and to establish, maintain, and strengthen relationships with them. Now, given that a picture is worth a thousand words, the following short animation and video clip aims to capture what this initiative is all about. I think that captures, I suppose, in a rounded sense, what we're what we're trying to what we're trying to do. Um, at the outset, I'd like to acknowledge and thank all of the partners, and this is very much a partnership and about inclusivity. 
both public and private sector, who conceptualised and developed what was an idea to fruition. The partners and organisations were noted at the end of the video clip. They have put in a lot of time, energy and effort to the project to date, and I would like to thank them all for that. I would particularly like to thank and acknowledge Colin, Colin Hindle and Joan Crawford from Foyleshire, Ireland, and also the Department of Foreign Affairs, and to thank them for their funding contribution to this in the context of their Global Irish Festival initiative, and to acknowledge our appreciation for their contributions to what was a taster event in the autumn of 2018 in West Donegal. This proved a great success, supporting additional economic activity in what would formerly have been accepted as the off-season in our county. We aim to build on the learning from that event into the future. I must also acknowledge the support and assistance received from my own organisation, Donegal County Council, and particularly the elected members who allocate funding each year as part of the annual budget to allow these and many other developmental initiatives to proceed. We have also been very fortunate to have had a number of very prominent people from Donegal endorse what this project is about. Uh, we have a few short videos. These will be rolled out during the duration of the next six months. Um, and just to give you a taster today, we have one. This first short piece is from Rosina Gallagher. Rosina is president of the Donegal Association in New York. Father, I'm Theo Nuara. I'm from Donegal Association here in New York. We are very excited about the upcoming Donegal Connect 2019 and look forward to joining you at the many events around the county. It is always very exciting arriving in Ireland and heading for the hills. Donegal is a very special place to many, and we all have a favourite place we can claim for ourselves. For me, there is nothing more special than the first morning looking out across the lake at Errigal Mountain and the peace and calmness that surrounds it. You know you have just stepped into another world. That's my Donegal. Slide the fall. Donegal Connect, live the journey. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank our ambassadors who have agreed to support this event both now and over the next number of months. We won't reveal them all today. Keep watching. Keep an eye on our website, www.donegalconnect.com. Um, safe to say that they're all very well known. They have a deep affection for Donegal and two of them are here today in person, and they'll be presenting to you now. The first of these is a very local lady. In fact, I think, well, maybe with, with the rain we won't see the house, but we can see our house actually out the window if we look out the back window here. Uh, Mairead was named Donegal Person of the Year in 2009 and the Traditional Musician of the Year in 2016. We are delighted to have Mairead as one of our Donegal Connect Ambassadors, as she is always delighted to promote Donegal at every opportunity. Mairead Nivini. Well, there's Paki Boner Lum Maglaw to Hogat, so do I good one each of them. So, Yenna Mami, Hill Paki. Well, just a couple of thoughts, I'm still right. I guess our two Sakhar Jagail. It's more to have a couple of thoughts, Lorraine Shaw, Le Shalu, Kangel Tunangal, not Donegal Connect to Hulu. Be my intercess the Coruelo, Mary Daly, and Shaw, or Horia Kondai Gunangal, I give an ambassador the Kangel Tunangal. While Tessa gives a galer, while Anya Gavarim, while Misha Inta Inta Mortisa as Machanter Duhishain Dunangal, and Gail Tartanshaw, I guess Usajim Ahan Jesh le e Hortantasi. Nim Ahan Yerat, I guess make Tashta la Altan, no Lish Namunis, no String Sisters, no few when when is Loni and Tanshaw, Dini Avalu, and show her court, Lishan Eller to Ekal de Fahin. Fast the Dominic being should a giri et as a dasker and call our sisho against no huer and wear a echelt. Show me quarter a hagen and show against few when gehering, kennis mass at our girl tradition to hain. 
Mas mwyt yn mynd yn mynd cilthari o'n tiw siwr tira o wel clu y gysmasa ddyr naes yn tarw. Smwyt i e'r rhain si 10 gilometr hart yn siwr. Hig enes, Daniel O'Donnell, Margo, Clonid, Nolonis, Clonigonel, y gysmithen, y gysaltan, y gysgolior ele yr armoni pasus yn chranog y tan siwr lenni nhw. Bym hyn go parsynthe y gysmwyt i e'r Smwyt yw yr ymtawart y Telesio Coulter le dyni y falw yn mehetio, mychwlra a gysmeb ond cioel. Er falu, ce gwrt cioel mychil nia leisyn a bwer y ffynna. Ta o wad ni smw gysd, ni nôti y wain y tas y cioel, ta cyfniad gysd, ta dwys, ta airart, ta cioel tari, falsynart i at siwd a hwyr mydd y cioel wy, Anlinart agos lir mwr o ddiel yn naid. Ta sil agos ther omlan sechol. Makala ar sinchyr. Ta denart agos falsynart ar sinchyr lym yw'r sechol mwr y dwt ma. Han nôti y wain as un ta gwa glosyn dini ele na chilhys yn gilir agos gwael tegfal acw aru. Glosyn siad eilart na fom, eilart fwamana na filiarta agos tes agom sig a parsynta Gydarnian agos gymalyn na sluwetje gwyd i'n llantwyr siwr hwain gan lwrt yr y changi nôr yr gyrhelu dan chwltyr lys y cioel o'ch mynstyr. Agos nôr y chig siwr dyn siwr chig siwr dyr ash bian yn ei bianna. Ta siwr trawl gwyl mynd yn siwr yn eir ffwrt y gwyn yng ngal mor ni wain gartolgu e mor hian na'r teiw a mor hian dyn eir ffwrt y sdys y torlint yr dawn yn eri agos gwyd i'n gael rai haru yn bianna a Ta ys un ta neir ffwrdd ta. Ta bwyn un ta yn siw, ta ebrynu un ta yn siw. A chwr yn ffaru na ffwelltyr y fchwyrtyri, ac ys nyr hagen siad yn siad, y stiag y dwi'n ngol yn hiadwyr, ta bala galan ta gwylofa. A chwr dyr, as I want to reiterate, it's so apt and fitting that this wonderful initiative of the Donegal County Council has been launched here at Donegal Airport today. As we know, it was voted as one of the most beautiful scenic approaches, and I hope that, wish them the best, and I hope they retain the accolade this year. But what makes this place important is the warm Donegal welcome that they give, that the staff and how they work and their work ethos and ex is, is so exceptional. It's a good blueprint for other business, businesses to follow when setting up here. I was delighted and honoured to be invited by Mary Daly here of the Donegal County Council to be one of the County Council or the Donegal Connect Ambassadors and I'm delighted and honoured to do so. Some of you may know my work as a musician which brings me near and far and I play Donegal traditional fiddle music and sing local songs in Eilig Gwynngal from the Sydney Opera House to the Hollywood Bowl to Hudy Bugs and Bonbeg to Boner's Bar up here everywhere. But when I'm on stage, I'm always very aware of my roots, my background, my, my rich musical heritage that I got from the people like my father, Francie Mooney, Con Cassidy, Joe Jack O'Coranius Moegallan, Don Vell and Jimmy Boyle, the likes of Nelly Nigonel, the singer, and Annie and Kitty O'Neamon. They're always there when I'm playing and singing, and they inspire people to seek out where this lovely magical music comes from, where this mysterious language comes from, where this great humanity of thought behind it comes from. It's a generous philosophy that these musicians had and have, and we hope to bring that. And it depicts the roots of what we're all about here in Donegal. This is what people hear in the music, not just a series of notes. They actually, I was told one time in Tokyo, they smell the turf, they see Errigal, they see the Derry Bay Mountains. They just want to seek the place and live that journey. Gormaigal. The second of our ambassadors is also a very local man but he's probably best known as the brother of the airport manager here at Donegal Airport, Anne Boner. Uh, of course, he's also known as a former Celtic and Republic of Ireland goalkeeper. Um, Packy Boner was born in Dunlow, 
reared in the townland called Clock Last, just outside Burton Port. He has cherished memories of his childhood in Donegal and talks about how Donegal people, no matter wherever they may be around the world, retain their uniqueness and warmth. Playing both soccer and Gaelic football for local sides, such as KJ Rovers and Ross's Rovers, he caught the eye of both the county management team in Gaelic and, I think, the late Fran Fields and Fan Harps in the context of his later soccer career. It was in the soccer fields as an outstanding goalkeeper that he made his name. In May 78, the call, the call came asking him to sign with Glasgow Celtic, and as well as great success at club level, he went on to amass 80 caps for his country, playing in the 88 European Championships in Germany, Italia 90, and USA 94. Well remembered for the save against Daniel Tomofti of Romania in the penalty shootout. We all remember where we were that night. Um, that saw Ireland get to the World Cup quarter final in 1990. His best personal memory, in a sporting sense, was beating England in Stuttgart in 1988 and keeping a clean sheet. <laughs> Packy is a true Donegal man, a recipient of the prestigious Tip O'Neill Irish Diaspora Award and someone who continues to play a very, very active role in the evolution of the Donegal Diaspora Project in the county and across the world. Packy Bona. Thank you, Gary. This is an unbelievable build-up, isn't it? I'm afraid you didn't get that. The last time I, I met Maraid was uh, coming back from Iceland. Iceland. She was out there doing a film about the connection between Iceland and Donegal, which was quite incredible. And we had a really nice chat there uh, at the airport, I think, on the way back. So it's nice to see you again, Maraid, and well done. And delighted we're in this together, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, delighted that I'm, I'm asked to come here. And I'm, I've also been delighted over the last probably year and a half, Gary, isn't it? that I've been in this international committee and I've been out to New York and, and uh, different, different meetings. And uh, what's blown me away a little bit is the message, the message that I didn't quite know how to tell people about Donegal. I could tell them about the mountains and the sea and, and uh, I could tell them about the fantastic beach. And it was my sanctuary, my sanctuary when I was under pressure all those years ago. I would come down here and I would get lost along the beaches and build myself up into this person who could go and perform at a, at a, at a fairly decent level. So Donegal was so much part of, of that. And when we go away, we talk and, and we talk to people. And you know the thing about Donegal people, when we're here, we talk about ourselves, don't we? We kind of give out about each other, Pat, yeah? But see, when we go away, we're really clannish. We hang on to each other, we, we, we connect, that word connect. And for me, it's, it's such an important, important part of my travels around the world. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, whether it's uh, uh, anywhere, there's always a Donegal person that comes up to you, and it's so nice to be able to talk. And then you sit and talk to them, and you talk to them for about 10, 15 minutes, and it's, there's so much something different about it. So that's what, that's what I love. So how do I describe Donegal? Uh, and when, when I was working with Gary and Michael and, and Joanne uh, and that whole message about how brilliant Donegal is, not just in tourism, in business, uh, in culture, art, music, education, language, all of those things. And w there was a program on Nationwide recently, and it was all about these little small, uh, high-level um, businesses just throughout Donegal, all over Donegal, and I thought it was a fantastic message when we sat with Gary and talked about it. And I loved the little video here, by the way. Wasn't it fantastic? You know the little animation? I think that was me when I got on that bus going to Glasgow. You know that one where you sit there and you go, oh, what am I doing here? And coming back. And, and I go back to that, actually, the, the, the documentary we made about uh, Bus Glasgow. And Lorraine McIntosh, who at Deacon Blue, who, who comes from down in, her parents come from, her mom, mom comes from Gador, and she said a lovely, lovely, lovely thing that I, I picked up on. And she said every time she used to put her, mos, her mother on that bus coming back here, her personality changed. Her personality changed, and, and she started talking Irish, and she made a connect with people, and she just blossomed for them a couple of weeks that she was back. And that's what it does. Uh, so I'm delighted to be, be involved in this initiative. What does connect mean? Connect means about people, and I think Maraid had, had it on, it's about people, it's about relationships. We have all the fantastic, better than anywhere else, you know, the sea, the mountains, 
but it's the people that makes Donegal absolutely special. And sometimes when we're here, and I'm, I'm so glad to see everybody here today, we don't quite appreciate it. I didn't appreciate it until I went away. But see, when you're away, you appreciate it so much. And all our young people now are traveling all over the world. They're no longer going away of necessity at times. They're going away to, to embrace the world and make themselves better. And they're finding their pathway through different businesses and, and, and companies. And they love coming back here. And we just must make that connect happen. And I think that's what we're trying to do, Gary. So I'm delighted. I hope this initiative goes really, really well. Pre please spread the message. I will certainly be spreading the message. I know Maraid and all the people when we travel around, we will be going to London in a, in a few weeks' time. We're connecting into Scotland. We've been out in New York. We'll connect anywhere we possibly can to make this county the special county it is. So thanks, Gary, for inviting me. I'm delighted to be part of it. And let's move on to September, and we'll have a fantastic time. Thank you. Thank you, Paki. Um, I'd like to acknowledge your appreciation to all who have participated in the planning and the preparation for this initiative, in particular at an operational level, as we said, all of our colleagues and friends in the private sector and the public sector, some of whom you've seen up on the screen, our colleagues in Primerica and Randox, uh, in Abbott and Donegal Town, very much appreciate your involvement, your engagement, your advice and your direction in relation to the project. And also to my colleagues in the uh, development sector, Udras Nagiltak, the IDA, Letterkenny Institute, ETB, uh, and to my own colleagues in particular in the tourism unit of the council and the, and the diaspora units and the local enterprise offices of the council as well, led by Michael Tunney. Given that we're at Donegal Airport today, I think it behoves us as well to reflect the importance that this piece of infrastructure actually has for us in relation to this project. Uh, and I'd like to acknowledge uh, the presence of our, the chairperson of Donegal Airport here today, Michael McLoon, uh, the airport manager, Anne Boner and her entire team. Um, all of the details in relation to the events are actually up on the website, and I think Paul has... Uh, yeah, Paul has up on the, up on the, up on the, 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 the screens behind us some of the, the details on DonegalConnect.com. So anyway, look, we've been waxing lyrical about how great Donegal is and all this kind of stuff. What exactly is going to be encompassed in the event? And just to give you a very brief flavour of what they are before the, the Cahirla of the Council, Councillor Seamus O'Donnell launches it, a uh, flavour of the elements of the 10 days. Uh, the Tip O'Neill Awards event in Bunkrana, an associated golf event in Ballyliffin. Donegal related plays and green and theatre letter Kenny. Photography exhibitions across the county, guided and interpreted walks in areas including Rosnowla and across Donegal's own Bridge of Tears, a route synonymous with emigrants leaving rural Donegal, shared history exhibitions in the County Museum in Letterkenny, various athletic and, and sporting events revolving around running and, 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 and so on and so forth, offshore island trips and interpretation for, for, for what they uh, present to us. An international Gaelic Football Sevens event with teams from the USA, the UK and Ireland. Uh, here I'm depending on you and pulling some of those teams together for me. Um, a keynote concert from Altan led by Mairead and an hour clan in Gidor. A celebration of Donegal food at various restaurants across the county. A Donegal feast at the foot of Errigal. That'll be an interesting one. Genealogy services to trace your own ancestry. Open days at iconic Donegal locations including Donegal Castle, Glenvay and the Glebe Gallery. An open day at Chaffwicky McGowan, Gartha Hork, one of our most famous emigrants and author of Rahamore and Thiel, or The Hard Road to the Klondike. And I think, in the context of my own memory, the inspiration for Horslips, the man who built America, if I remember correctly. Ulster Scots Heritage Festival in Burt. Burt, in Burt. Uh, Donegal Voices Choral Concerts in Ballyshannon and Stranorler. Uh, Christy Moore Concert in Bundorn. Various events across the south and west of the county uh, in the Donegal Bay and Blues Tax Festivals. Uh, and a very, very uh, iconic and signature event that will be taking place at Fort Dunree from the Lux Carnival Group. Um, and also a very, very important event, something that we've uh, picked up on from our engagement with the associations when we were abroad, and also from our own council chamber in Lifford, a meeting of the Donegal associations from, from across the world, the various current challenges and future opportunities that present to them. Now, just in case you think that it's all about singing or running or just enjoying yourself, there's a very, very strong business focus running through this event as well. We want to showcase the strengths of the county, not just as a location that we all love and want to live in, but also to highlight the very strong points that we have as a business location or as a place to study in. To do that, there are a number of business-focused events across the county during the week, and these include 
a career symposium offering job opportunities in Donegal, a Donegal Women in Business Conference celebrating 20 years of collaboration, an open day with Udris Nagilta in the door and highlighting the GTEC offering and their uh, iconic digital hub, a specific sector-led fintech and medtech event detailing the opportunities for both jobs and, more importantly, career paths in those sectors in County Donegal, open mornings with our business support and assistance agencies, open days across a range of large Donegal businesses highlighting job and career progression opportunities, and case studies and interactive workshop and business establishment in the county. And finally, and just in case you thought it was just about doing business and having some fun, there's also a very practical element to the week-long event. Uh, this last element has come about again as feedback from a very, range of various sources, including our own council chamber and engagement with our diaspora abroad. People who have highlighted the practical difficulties faced by returning emigrants to their home county and by a number of the Donegal associations abroad who have reflected their challenges, uh, having reached a stage of life where they've been abroad, they like to come home again, and what are the practical difficulties. So in that context, there will be a keynote symposium providing practical advice with real-life case studies on moving back to Donegal. We're intending to stream this event and make it available in webinar for any of those who cannot join us in person. Uh, and it's something that I think would be very, very, very important for anyone who has minded and who has been abroad for a period of time uh, who, who, uh, and who might be minded to come back to, uh, to join us for that. The event schedule will continue to evolve during the year and further details will be added to the website as they emerge. Additionally, specific and exclusive offers for flights, accommodation and packages will be highlighted on the website. And given my own role here at Donegal Airport, it would be remiss of me not to tell people that you can book an Aer Lingus anywhere in North America, put on your bags at any location there, and not pick them up until you get into the arrival halls here. Anne Boner, the marketing manager, or sorry, the manager of the airport, or Pauline Sweeney, the marketing manager, uh, will be quick off the mark in developing offers and packages to tempt people to fly into their home airport for this event, and would not be an iconic thing to do to mark this uh, once uh, uh, this hugely important event. We'd also encourage you to take advantage of the very competitive rates available from Dublin and Glasgow. Is that okay, Pauline? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now, I'd now like to call on the first citizen of the county, Councillor Seamus O'Donnell, Cahirla of Donegal County Council, to present and to formally launch the Donegal Connect initiative. Maybe Packy's your favourite out of the three, is he? Um, he forgot my sporting accolades as well in the sheet that he read out. And it wouldn't have taken you too long, mind you. Um, you have the medals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think you should have a It's more an honour to do some more. I'm going to do some more. I'm going to do then you in the Sunday morning event, Shahag is to make any fight to more for revival. Then you go ahead and you call lucky fan in the Sunday and and call you in the Krausi, call you make a last because and call you on your Kennedy. And yes, can call you and and chat to Etuil and Shah Pat the Kopa Galahar and Prevaiman the Seamus Neely, John Crawford the Tensha. I guess it's a genu upper more my listen for Bert Shah. I guess it's Kenty Gary Martin because in year banished year than call you Sunday. Uh, Michael McLuhan fast. It's got the nearly ten shot. Go ahead here. Now, Ambassador Fianta Fianta Mai at the Ogin, Shishin Paki, Agus Mairead, Avo Kondai or B, Neo Anyan Sachir, A Incedon, Sesta Shiva Veaku, A Tishiv Ogin. Agus Taluhur Arn Gwalsh of Shinta. Udras the Gilter, the Linian Shahan, you fast against the part Larn, the Gudras the Gilter, because me Amigal Aspic, because he had the league Lishan Forbert Shah, Agus Lishan Dalkin King, my more Jarafa, a Tamid Akhor, a Laharan Shah, Agus Kentia Kahimi de Red, Go Wolfmid, Ensign Air Force, is Jisha, New Anyan Sachir, a Insa Down Moor, Agus Talur Arms of Ain Shah, and Air Force in the Gal, Air Force Sugan Hain, a Tag Gallante, Agus Dirt Moray, Jacob Mice Ten. Bottle for an inch off. Ni Hokalumse, Ridaby, I just my his red for the Difa, Jenisha Gar Yerat, I guess Garfred, and Forrester, then you be a child free, Saku. I guess Kai Medine, Mar Polichiri, Mar Witcher Nahache, Mar Dini, I take four British as a Gideon Nights or Kin King, Jenny Kinche, 
go wall and fogre as in focal my for the dinner for just scappy at to be a time it has a commotion ladies and gentlemen it gives me great honor to be here as the chairman of Donegal County Council and to address you in what is a very synonymous and significant day for Donegal where we are launching Donegal Connect and this is an idea that has come about uh, through connections that we have made on the world stage with other places and other people that want to give back to Donegal that feel as passionately as Paki and Murray do for Donegal and we believe ourselves within the council and as proud Donegal people that what we have to offer in Donegal is as good or better than anywhere else in the world. And we don't have to take our own word for that. We can look at prestigious accolades that have been received from the likes of National Geographic magazine, which is available the world over. They could have picked anywhere in the world, but they didn't. They said the coolest place on the planet is Donegal. So don't take my word for it. Take National Geographic's word for it. And we need to tell everybody that, and we need to shout it from the rooftops, because they got it right. We've been saying it for ages. It might have taken them a little while to get there, but they eventually found us, and we are on the world stage. We found ourselves last year beamed into 500 million homes worldwide through the Irish Open being hosted in Ballyliffin. The weather was fabulous. The work that was done by the Inishon community, along with Donegal County Council, along with every stakeholder in the Inishon Peninsula, was simply fabulous. And we portrayed ourselves as the best of the rest. And we showed that if you come to Donegal, it can be done. And they said for years that Ballyliffin or Donegal couldn't host it. How wrong were they? Because we as Donegal people, when we decide to get behind something, we can ensure that it is bigger, better, brighter and more fabulous than anywhere else. And we proved that. And we'll see what comes back from that. We have had Star Wars in Malinhead. We have Sleeve League in the south of the county, the highest sea cliffs in Europe. We have the most brilliant, aesthetically pleasing airport in the, in, the, in the world. We have some of the best beaches in the world, some of the best surf in the world, some of the most deep-rooted and interesting history in the world that goes back for generations, something they don't have in places like the States. We have miles and miles of unspoiled territories that people can go exploring. We have iconic images such as Errigal, and that is just from a tourism point of view. And we often undersell ourselves as a people, and perhaps if we can take something from today, it is that we as a people, as ambassadors of Donegal, need to be shouting from the rooftops the good things that we have here. And when we look at internet and broadband, and it's a big issue for all of us in the political sphere, but the funny thing about it is, parts of Donegal, and it's been rolled out further in the coming weeks and months, have the best and fastest broadband delivery of anywhere in Europe. And we never say that. We have others in the Gaeltic that have enticed massive companies into this uh, very area here. Indeed, in the Rosses, we can celebrate what Randox have done, the employment that they've created for our youth. We have Primerica, we have Zeus, uh, we have Optum, and many more multinational Tier 1 and Tier 2 companies that they have based themselves here in Donegal. And ask yourselves, why have they done that? And the answer to that is because they see two or three benefits to being in Donegal that they get nowhere else in the world. The staff retention rates in Donegal are higher than anywhere else in the world because the people that want to be in Donegal and that live in Donegal and that are from Donegal want to stay there and are happy to stay in employment. The LYIT, which is our premier education centre in the county, can custom make, custom make courses that can deliver graduates straight into um, companies tailor-made and tailor-fitted to what they need. And then they have jobs for life, high paid, high skilled jobs that, that each and every one of us would want. And many of us emigrate to get the same jobs that are available in our own county. On a tourism point of view, massive strides forward have been made in recent years. We only have to look at the numbers that are increasing year on year. The massive investment that has been made by Joan Moyanya and many other uh, organisations and associations. As a council, we take that remit very seriously because we do see the changing demographic and the changes in, in the economic future for our county. And we're moving perhaps from predominantly fishing and predominantly farming to moving into things like fintech, uh, like tourism in a big, big way. And the product that we have is now recognized on the worldwide stage. So we must be careful not to, to spoil the beauty and the culture and the synonymity that comes with it and the, the delightful stories and the brunglegy and the, the, the old 
I, I suppose, stories and, and fables that have passed from generation to generation that nowhere else has. And we need to be proud of what we have, celebrate it, and ensure that we can deliver upon it when they come here. But most of all, what we really have in Donegal is the people. And the people of this county, as Packy Boner no less has stated, wherever you go in the world, if you are from Donegal, you are sure that you will find people that will help you, that will assist you, and that will open doors on you, for you. Because the people that have left our shores, who have emigrated in generations gone by, have opened doors and have put themselves in places that perhaps other counties can't, because of the, the innate willingness to, to go forward and to do stuff and to be friendly and hospitable and respectable. But we have a resilience within ourselves, a resilience that is given to people in the west of Ireland, but we're in the northwest of Ireland, and I believe the resilience is even bigger. So we have some of the finest hoteliers in our county here today, and one of those hoteliers, another former Donegal Person of the Year, when she gets the opportunity to speak, always uses a term that I think we could all use, and that is Donegal has it all, and I think we should use that. That's Deirdre McGlone, who is here with us today. We are, we, are, we are looking for people to come to Donegal between the 27th of September and the 6th of October to engage in what they want to engage in. To have fun, to meet with relatives, to check out genealogy, uh, to learn more about the place they are from or the place they want to be from, but equally those who are interested in relocating to Donegal, we will facilitate them and advise them on the ease of relocating, be it from planning permission, be it from getting a PPS number, all of that. We are working on getting packages together for those type of people. But moreover, if somebody wants to invest in Donegal, we will give them the opportunities and the license and the assistance to get them to invest in Donegal. And we only have to look at, at the likes of Kevin Boyle in the Waterfront Hotel in Dunlo who was born off the islands, or his father was born off the islands um, in the Rosses, and he always had a gra and an affinity with the Rosse. He decided to invest quite significantly into that area, and we now have a state-of-the-art hotel, something that is deserved to this area, and something that is going from strength to strength. And I want to welcome Martina McGee, as I know her, but Rafferty, as she is known better, as, who is the manager of the hotel, and indeed Elaine, who is the marketing manager of the Abbey, a place that is synonymous with all things tourism, Donegal Town, into Sleeve League, on to Killy Beggs, and on up the West Coast. We have it, folks, and all we're asking is that everybody that is here today <coughs> takes the opportunity to invite, invite, entice, drag, pull anybody you can back to our county for a celebration of all things Donegal between the 27th of September and the 6th of October, and we can ensure you, and indeed ensure them, that they will not be disappointed. And if they are happy to spend a little bit or invest a little bit, we will be sure that we will do all that we can to ensure that that happens and that it is sustainable and that the workforce is there and that everything that they need or want can be delivered upon. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is my great privilege and honour, and I am delighted to officially launch Donegal Connect 2019. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Um, Just, I suppose, to, to, to acknowledge as well, uh, the event has actually been streamed uh, on Facebook Live. Um, I was getting texts and emails from New York last night wondering how they could actually join the proceedings. So to anybody that's watching, hello, hi. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful day here, beautiful day. Uh, so anyway, in conclusion, as the Cahirla has said, what can you do to help Donegal Connect be the success that we all want it to be? Encourage your friends and families to come home for the event. Share the program with your contacts. Find out more on our website, Donegal Connect. Uh, it's going to be updated on an ongoing basis. Engage with Donegal Connect and the various social media platforms that we'll be setting up in the coming weeks. And stay up to date with all things Donegal on our Donegal Diaspora website. And we also welcome thoughts and ideas on how to connect with our diaspora 
through the Donegal Connect event and are keen to continue to develop the programme and opportunities for reaching out and engaging. So if any of you have any particular suggestions, recommendations or criticisms, please let us know. In conclusion, I would like to thank you all for taking the time out on a Friday afternoon to come here to spend the last few hours with us. I hope you found it to be of some benefit. I hope it's given you some pause for thought. I hope it's left you with an idea to say, gosh, such and such a one might be interested in this. Uh, and I hope it's given you some consideration as well to say, well, actually, there's something that I think that might actually add value to this or something that they might do differently. And we're very, very, very happy to hear any thoughts or suggestions that you have in that space as well. Uh, and I do sincerely mean to thank you so much for, on this Friday afternoon for coming here, and particularly our ambassadors who are very, very busy in their own right. I know they have other commitments elsewhere uh, tomorrow, uh, and I want to thank them for coming here today. Um, it's the start of the journey. We hope it's going to be a landmark year, and uh, we'd ask you to, to, to travel the journey with us. So thank you very much. <laughs>